Welcome to another episode of The Daily EK. This is going to be the first episode of a mini-series where I'm going to fix up the interior of my 22-year-old Civic hatchback. In this video, I'm going to start by removing my super disgusting 22-year-old OEM carpet, and then I'll let you know my plan to fix it up. Then we'll move on to other parts of the interior in later videos. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by taking out this passenger seat and then the driver's seat. So starting with my deep socket 12, there are four 12 millimeter bolts on each of the seats. If you see on mine here, these bolts are pretty gross. Super rusted and the rails don't look great either. So I'm gonna try to freshen that up when I put all this back in. Passenger seat out, and it looks like we have a lot of workspace already. Man, look at this. That is so gross. I guess this is what the carpet used to look like, kinda sorta, but man, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, you can kinda see how it was, but obviously it's still real dirty. Um, and then, yeah, so real happy we're gonna be addressing that. Just a quick note, on the back of each seat, you should have this little kick plate that you gotta pop off with a little screwdriver here. And then it has the bolts underneath it. I just remembered that I took my passenger seat out before, so that's why I never replaced that one. Then underneath this seat here, we have this little clip. I believe that's a seat belt sensor. The inevitable finding money and oh, my lucky guitar pick! Looking good. Now I want to go ahead and take this rear seat out. Just fold that down. And on the side here, we have a couple 10 mils. Then in the middle of the seats, we have this last guy right here. See, they kind of come out together because they're connected by this back carpet piece right here. So I'm just leaving that together. Uh, this cardboard piece right here, I think what I'm going to do, because this thing is super warped, I'm going to maybe use that as a template. We'll try to cut a new piece or something like that. And then maybe I can cover that in a cool way. So back inside here to get this final piece, there's kind of just this one bolt right down here. And this thing looks disgusting, man. I was already looking at it. Just gotta take this out and then the back seat will lift up. Just push the seat belt deals through. This is kind of looking eerily similar to my EG interior. <laughs> But so, you probably don't need to go ahead and take out these top back seat parts. They could probably hang there, but look at how gross this is, dude. This is 20 something years of just gross. And so I'm definitely gonna be running my shop back through here. Let's clean all this up. I'll take the spare tire out and you know, maybe we'll freshen this whole red up a little bit. And you know, obviously we have stuff to get to, but we're focusing on the carpet in this episode. So really what we have to start doing is getting rid of these kick panels and the center console, and then we can lift the carpet up. So the next thing I'm tackling is this center console where it's just got these Phillips head screws along both sides. some of my other videos you know that I put this shift knob in more recently uh, as well as this shift boot here and I really am digging this K-Tune shift knob um, they sent it to us uh, which was just really nice um, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not but man I actually really dig that thing Yeah. 
Look at that. You can kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of see how the color used to be because that whole center console is covering that. A lot of dust though. Man, this is gonna be so nice just to know that this thing is clean again once I go ahead and go through with all this. Even just this kind of stuff, getting all this dust and whatever that is off of there. All right, and so the next bit I'm gonna tackle is these kind of side kick panels, whatever you wanna call them. Don't mind that wire there, that's just for my light. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of separate this guy and just kind of move it up out of the way. So what it looks like from here is we kind of just gotta pry this thing away carefully. Okay, now I don't feel like I have to remove this thing totally. We just need to kind of, you know, get it up out of the way. I can see where I can see the carpet right here. And that will allow me later to go ahead and take this off to get to the headliner. So the next thing I'm gonna go for is this panel right here, but it kind of looks like we need to go ahead and get this ECU block plate here out of the way. So it looks like there's one kind of button there and one there. All right, so this little guy and this top black pin come out. And off comes the panel. Then just carefully, All right, so everything is out of the way as far as I can see at the moment. The last thing we need to get to are these little tabs that are kind of where the bench seat goes. And then I think we can lift up the carpet. These tabs look like they kind of just pull, oh well. <laughs> I, just, I just pulled the carpet out right around it. So I guess that's just how it's kind of gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna leave these tabs in here if that's the way that's gonna go. But yeah, so. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be breaking tabs all over the place here. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just start from over on this side. Kinda just peel this carpet around. So you can get a little bit of a better view right here. When I'm peeling this up, there is a little bit of it kinda sticking to the floor, I guess through the sound deadening. I'm not sure, but kinda just gotta roll it back. On the driver's side here, of course, just pull this little line through. Kind of just move this plastic piece up and out of the way just a bit so you can kind of manipulate the carpet around it. That's coming up pretty easy. A penny! Around where the e-brake cables go, kind of just got to work it around there it looks like. Kind of just wants to move around and lift up and over. That's easy enough. And this piece of carpet right here is connected in the middle. I think I am just gonna give that a quick cut. I am not looking to unbolt the handbrake and all that. So yeah, just a nice quick cut there. That won't be a big deal at all when I go to put it back. So chill out internet. So one thing that I am doing here is I'm taking out the bolts from underneath this piece. She already got the one out here from the inside and there's another one on the other side that's just like that. The reason is, is the carpet is connected there and there and I don't wanna cut that big of sections. So I'm taking this bottom little piece out and hopefully sliding the carpet out underneath it. I kinda just broke this thing free using my uh, uh, red breaker bar and then just got my hand in behind here just to ratchet the bolt off. It is a bit awkward and challenging, but hey, we just got it. Yeesh. 
All right, so I'm in a little bit of a sticking point here and you can kind of decide what you want to do. I removed the cover here for what the SRS uh, airbag stuff is. Now, the carpet goes over top of this tunnel here and the cord for the SRS kind of comes up underneath there and then up underneath this metal bracket here. It's attached to it. And so we could do one of two things. We could either unplug the SRS stuff or we could just cut the carpet and, you know, pull it out. I am going to just cut the carpet along here down the middle, pull, flap each side over, and then pull this thing on out. The reason I'm choosing that route is because I think it's gonna be very easy to just stitch it back together once you put the carpet back in. If you're not comfortable doing that, you know, you gotta go ahead and unplug the SRS stuff. And this is what we're looking like. Pretty cool, man. And so the carpet is out. Looks pretty grody, doesn't it? <laughs> Very interesting seeing the spot here out in the open like this. But uh, yeah, we definitely just need to go ahead and give this thing a good clean. Um, obviously a lot of this dirt came up as I pulled it up out of the car, but I'll go ahead and use the shop vac and clean this thing up. And so I did end up cutting right up here as you guys can see, and I'm sure some of you are gonna hate that, but I think it's gonna be fine because it's totally covered once it's up in there, and I can stitch that little bit back together. Um, I think it's gonna be fine. Originally I was thinking I was gonna go ahead and get a different carpet, like one of those ones that are kind of pre-cut and everything but I am not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse this. I have a real cool plan to go ahead and pressure wash and clean this thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the color on it. So please be sure to stay tuned for that next episode. It's gonna be really cool. Definitely a DIY project. It's not gonna cost us hardly any money at all. And I think it's gonna look great. So thanks for watching this episode of The Daily EK. Talk to you in the next. Thank you.